Well, the mild winter and warm summer led to a bumper crop of strawberries this summer, but there are fears that climate change could make that something of a rarity in future. So now scientists in Kent are experimenting with how to keep crops growing well in drought conditions, and they're using fungus. The latest in our food chain series, our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports on how science is trying to help improve our food security. Strawberry plants growing under special conditions, their light water and food strictly controlled within a sealed environment. The aim to reduce the amount of water used, the discovery that feeding them friendly fungus makes them healthier. So we are stressing the plants as much as possible and we are feeding them with uh, the friendly fungus that is uh, helping it, the plants to resist uh, the stress. And we manage with that way to reduce the water and keep the same yield and quality of strawberries. Friendly, or mycorrhiza fungus, is found in any soil. One teaspoon contains 20 metres of it if strung together. But intensive farming reduces that number, so the idea is to add it back into the soil where crops may face stress, like drought. On a commercial system we need so much water to grow just a single strawberry, but with our methods we managed to reduce the water uh, by 40-50%. So now the method is being tested, ready for commercial production, using sterile coconut husk for soil. The, the coir substrates don't have any harmful bacteria, so you have no plant pathogens, so no plant diseases in there. The problem with that is, is there's also no beneficial fungi or bacteria in there. So we're putting the beneficial fungi without the plant disease fungi back into the growing media, the grower. The new growing techniques are being developed to help growers prepare for future climatic change and an increasing demand for food. Especially here on the, in the southeast, there are many demands on the water and land use that we have available and we need to find new ways of overcoming that problem and giving us more food for the future. It's expected the friendly fungus will now go on to help other crops grow and increase our food security. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, East Morning.